Now let me read what the Bible says about them. In Genesis chapter 26 and from verse 34. And Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beeri, the Hittite, and Bashemath, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite. Verse 35 says, which, talking about these two ladies, which were a grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. These wives of Esau were a grief of mind to Esau's parents. The two of them. Now, in chapter, I want to show you something here. In chapter 27, reading from verse 46, listen to what Rebecca said. And Rebecca said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of heads. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of heads, such as these, which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do to me? She, was, she felt so terrible. And she said, look, we can't allow Jacob to make the same mistake. The mistake that was made by Esau. And that's why the Bible tells us over what we're reading uh, in chapter 28 and from verse 6 that Esau saw that his father instructed Jacob as to where to go to get married and which particular family to go to get married and that he blessed him with the blessing of Abraham and he also noted that Jacob obeyed his father and went to where he was sent to get married and he wished he changed he wished he had another chance so now what he did was he went over in verse 9 he went to uh, the family of Ishmael he got closer now and got married to um, to says, the Bible says he took on to the wives which he had, added to the wives which he had, Mahalat the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son that didn't change anything anyway because uh, the blessing had already been given to Jacob and he went again on his own and got a third one See? so um, it's very important that we understand that as for us Christians we are not supposed to be going around trying to date and find out whether this is right for us we know what is right first before we say okay this is what we're going to do so we need to be guided spiritually we need to be guided we must always have the consciousness of our calling in mind as Jacob was instructed he had the consciousness of his calling in mind and that's why you obeyed his parents now that's not to say that it must come from the parents the reason this was important coming from the parents was because Isaac the father of Jacob was the one who had the promise he had the blessing and he had also been instructed by his father Abraham the same way most important here is having the guidance of God God's guidance spiritual guidance this is most important and Jacob had that spiritual guidance from Isaac his father Isaac was a prophet even though he was Jacob's father but he was a prophet of God and that's important and, and uh, to have spiritual guidance apart from your knowledge within your spirit which the Holy Spirit guides you the other person that's important in your life is your pastor. That's important. Now, um, it's not right for a Christian to go around looking for some prophet to guide him about getting married. It's not even right to go to a pastor that is not your pastor. Because, you know, uh, it's like just going to just any minister of God to say, I want to get married, can you give me spiritual guidance? He is not expected to give you spiritual guidance because... Um, he can show you God's word but when it comes to guidance as about things that we are not necessarily given uh, 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 exact instruction as to this or that for example do I take this job do I marry this woman do I go left or right things like this you, you can't just go to a prophet 
or a pastor outside and ask such questions. See, because these things are given to those that, that the Lord has brought into your life to guide you through the Word of God on a consistent basis, not just because someone is a spiritual leader or somewhere else. Okay. He says, Pastor, I am always confused when my friends ask me why we have female pastors in our church. When the Bible says first in 1 Corinthians that women should not speak in the house of God. You know, the people who are always going to ask questions, they're always going to ask, 